yesterday we got a load of wood chips and now we have to spread all the wood chips around and I've been putting off pruning my raspberry plant but it's about time because I gotta put wood chips everywhere and it's like better to do it now than do it later when it's like better to print it first so it's like clean under and then I can put the wood chips around but I cleaned out this and this was like full of weeds because we didn't have any wood chips so I like weeded all this and today I gotta put mulch everywhere and we made like some new little like islands here we made two there's this one and just as like the June plum, I put all these malangos together, but I gotta like transplant them out. And we planted um, one of these like edible cactus pad plants. It's like super sunny out, but it's growing. And this is a male papaya. Here's the raspberry and it has like a lot of dead branches that I gotta prune out. And a coconut and we planted <laughs> Um, a bunch of mulberries, there's two right here. And we also made a banana circle here. And we had a papaya tree already planted here before. And it like died back, but now it's like growing side, like side branches or, yeah, like side branches. And it's like full fruit. And we've just been putting like a bunch of stuff that's what banana circles are like great for. You could just throw everything on them. And the Mysore raspberry is like a raspberry plant that will fruit in tropical climates. So here it is. I only have one. Ideally you'd want to have a few to get like a, like a significant harvest. But I only have one right now. And... It's a little bit complicated to prune it. So I wanted to do a video explaining how to prune it because when I was like researching, there was like almost nothing. And it was just super, it was complicated. Like it took me a while to figure it out. So I'm hoping this could help anyone that has a raspberry plant. This will be for um, raspberry plants that are like the mice or raspberry, you wouldn't prune. Um, and this time frame, you would follow the same pruning style, but you wouldn't prune in this time frame if you lived up north. But this is for anyone who is in a tropical climate. And I made like these little cards. They're in here to explain it. It's like a little diagram. So I'm going to put my camera on a tripod and show you guys how to do that and I'll take you over there and show you up close how to like differentiate between like old and new canes so let me do that so the Mysore raspberry will fruit in the winter so you're gonna be pruning it back um, in the summer because it'll fruit in the winter. Whereas if you're up north, your raspberries would be fruiting like spring or summer. I'm not 100% sure because I don't live up north, but from what I understand, they will be fruiting like in spring or summer. So you do the pruning in the winter and you'd prune it um, the same way, but you would have to do it at a different time of year. So here, this would be, an, it's not early summer right now, it's October and I should have done this before but it's okay so here we have like this would be an early summer so raspberries have um canes that grow like out of like a center like heart kind of thing underground and they'll grow new canes from that and sometimes they'll grow canes like further out but the Mysore raspberry from what I've seen doesn't really spread too much so like the canes that come out will be right around the same area but some raspberries do um, put canes out like multiple inches or feet away from like the mother plant so you're gonna have in the summer you're gonna have old canes and new canes so raspberries will put fruit on canes that are two years old or like are in their second year so 
in the early summer you're gonna have old canes and I drew them brown because they look brown and then um, I did um, the, the new canes I put them blue because to me they kind of look a little blue they're like a blue gray green kind of color and like if you touch them then like that color rubs off a little bit but I can't really touch them the plants are covered in thorns so um, some raspberries don't have thorns but the Mysore raspberry does and it has a lot of thorns like all over the leaves there's thorns there's thorns everywhere so here you have your old cane it's brown and then you'll have new canes you'll have multiple old canes multiple new canes in the early summer and then let me organize this you're gonna see there's gonna be a lot of canes then in early summer you wanna cut back all the old ones they're gonna look super just brown and dead and ugly so you want to cut those to the ground sometimes you'll get this which i made this mistake last year i didn't know but sometimes you'll get this which is where there's like an old cane and then a new cane will grow but it'll grow like on the old cane itself so instead of a new cane coming straight out of the ground you'll get a new cane coming from an old cane and when that happens you want to cut up, cut up above you don't want to cut below and take out the new cane with it um i read like a pdf by i think it was like a university in puerto rico that was like trialing mysore raspberries to see if they would do well in puerto rico and i learned a lot of information there about growing it so i'm going to put a link to that pdf in the description but i just wanted to do a video um specific explaining like how you would prune it because I feel like it's a bit easier to see a visual um, like representation of it instead of just written. But yeah, I, I, I learned from them when what time of year you would prune the Mysore raspberry for like maximum fruit production. So yeah, early summer you cut back all the old canes and you got these new canes growing, you leave them. And you want to have like four to six new canes um, per each like plant per each bunch So this is not like an individual plant the individual plant is everything and each plant has multiple canes So yeah, so four to six new canes per plant and Then in late summer these new canes will have grown a lot if you don't cut them back They'll they could get like 10 15 feet long. They'll grow a lot so what you do is cut them back five to six feet tall some people do three to four feet tall you could do really however tall you want um the pdf recommended five to six feet so that's what i'm going with and i think five to six feet is like a good height because if not the plants are going to be too short and um yeah so you cut them back in late summer like i guess like august you'd cut cut back the canes five to six feet tall then after a few months pass, see what happens is that these canes have leaves and then at the intersection of the leaf with the main stem, um, there's a potential for a new branch to grow and then by cutting it um, right here at five to six feet tall, you're going to force the plant to put lateral branches. Now these lateral branches, you're going to let them grow and after a few months, you want to cut them back about 8 to 10 inches long. You can do a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, whatever you want. And these branches will then be forced. It'll, it'll do the same thing as you did with the main branch, but not with the secondary branches. And it'll force like more branches to come out of here. So you're going to end up with like in winter or spring, you're going to end up with this basically. There's a plane. <laughs> okay, the plane is gone. So you're gonna have this is one plant just won't have one cane. There's gonna be multiple canes per plant, but I just drew one cane to give you like a clearer example of how each cane will look. So you have your main cane with a couple branches, lateral branches, and then each lateral branch will have more branches coming out of it. And then at the end of each branch, you're gonna get a flower cluster that's gonna get pollinated and set fruit. 
So this is what you end up with, multiple canes that look like this. And then, like in, uh, maybe if you're a little bit further north, I'm not sure how it would be, but this is basically for here. I've noticed that we get fruit like March, April, May. Like that's the time we're getting fruit. And it doesn't just happen all at once. Like it fruits for a while, like for a couple weeks we're getting fruit. So I drew a little little cluster of fruit and they'll be red. So they'll flower, then the it'll set the fruit. The raspberries will be red and then they're going to turn like a black purple kind of color and then you want to harvest them just when you could touch them like just pinch them off and they just they just fall right off that's when they're ready so yeah I'm gonna put um, a picture of like all of these together in a little post I'm gonna do on my website so if you want to like go there and just take a screenshot or like save the image and have it for further reference with the time frame too of when you guys need to do this you guys have that there, so I'm gonna um, take you over there and show you how to differentiate between the old canes and the new canes. And I'm gonna prune the plant. So to prune these plants, like I recommend like these rubber, not rubber gloves, they're um, like leather gloves, I'm guessing. I don't know, something super thick that the thorns can't get inside of you. And I got scissors. My scissors are broken, so I have like a little zip tie holding them together. But you should sterilize your scissors. I mean, a lot of times I don't sterilize my scissors, but um, I feel like the raspberries are kind of finicky plants. So if you want, sterilize your scissors. And I'm going to go over there and show you. I should take the tripod. Show you the raspberry. I should have pruned off the old canes early summer. It's not early summer anymore. So they are getting more brown looking, but if you prune them in early summer, they should look like this. So you could see this is like what a young cane will look like. It looks kind of blue to me. I don't know. Or gray or whatever color, but it's distinctly different from the old canes. The old canes are brown. This is a chunk of an old cane. They're very brown, and this is just like a very light, young, like light blue, greenish, gray color. So you want to prune off the old canes. Right now, see this cane? This one right here is um, a new cane. So you see it's already turning brown down there. I hope you guys can see that, but it's like brown down here, and you see it's like a bit lighter color there. So... Yeah, this is an old cane. And it's like, has bark on it. This one doesn't really. I mean, I'm sure there's bark on it of some sort, but this one has like dry looking bark on it. And if you don't prune your raspberries, they're gonna become the biggest thorny mess, like ever. <laughs> they are so thorny. I'm crashing into the, um, what is that coconut tree? So here's what it looks like before. Gonna prune it all up. And I'm gonna get um, a bucket, like a big pot that I use. I'm gonna throw all the canes in there. You really don't wanna leave these lying around. They're super thorny. And I have a dog and he just walks everywhere, you know, and he's gonna step on these. If you just like, you can't, you can't chop and drop with this, like unless you're gonna be aware that there's thorns everywhere. I also have it um, tied up to like a, just a stick here, is this like a one by 2 or something that I stuck in the ground and I tied it with like these velcro tomato strap things. It worked. This is not your ideal kind of trellising that you would do if you're going to have a lot of plants, but it worked. And yeah, I got to take off like the straps and it's going to be a bit of a process and then I'll bring you back and show you what it all looks like when it's cleaned up. So I took out all the dead branches. Um, they're in here. I chopped them all up. I have actually four canes. And um, last year I accidentally cut a bunch 
bit because I, I wasn't really sh too sure what I was doing and I only had one cane so it came back it has four canes but I kind of noticed that the plant was like um a little bit too so as I was saying I was putting on this glove so I don't get all pinched up um I noticed the plant was like sticking out like this was all sticking out I don't know it looks like roots to me like the I don't know so I'm gonna just cover it up I feel like maybe that's why it's not doing too good maybe it's drying out a bit too much um, yeah I'm gonna cover it up and then the mulch is gonna come in and cover it up too and yeah it's very long see what I mean like if you don't prune these this is a lateral branch actually this is a center stem sometimes it'll put a lateral branches on its own without pruning but to encourage more lateral branches you should prune it but here see how long this is like that's probably uh, seven feet long so I'm like about five feet tall so I'm gonna prune it about to my height same thing over here some of these branches just get so long and yeah I'm just gonna tie it up prune it to about five feet tall tie it up all up to there and then let those lateral branches grow a bit and then I'll prune those there might be some really long lateral branches I might just prune those right now because I just don't want to have like super long branches in here because we got to bring in the mulch and everything but yes it's gonna look way better um there was like a a little like a a cane coming up like over here which is a few feet away and I was gonna I'm not sure if that's like one of the tips got buried by accident because normally you'd propagate these by getting the tips and burying them and the tips will grow roots and grow a new plant so I'm not sure if that's what happened or just a new cane was coming up a bit further away not sure but it's uh, dead now so it doesn't really matter we'll see hopefully it comes up because I want to get more of these plants so I finished pruning it I pruned um, a couple of the the main branches this is the main one and then it already had some like if you follow it it already had some side branches growing so I pruned those two they're not 8 to 10 inches long I think they're a bit longer maybe like um like a 12 to 16 or something like that 12 to 18 inches it doesn't it doesn't really matter too much but yeah you can see now like see this leaf and it has like a new bud growing right there let me try to focus it so this leaf has like a new little branch coming out right here so this branch will grow and then it'll put a flower cluster at the end of it. But um, last year I only had one um, like cane because I ended up pruning way too many because I didn't know what I was doing. But it was okay with like the one stake. But this is not okay. There's way too many in here. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm not exactly sure how I buried it. I didn't dig it in. I think we just... Um, cut like a point to one of these one by twos and we hammered it in So I think I'm gonna try to do that with two more and do like one right there one right there and then Get some kind of rope Maybe twine, but I don't know I could maybe put um, a nail in Into the wood at certain heights and then tie like some rope to it Around and then the whole plant could just kind of hang in there and fall out and that way there'll be more space. I just tied up right now so there's like room to walk around here. But yeah, I think that's what I might do. I don't know. We'll see. But there's some really nice trellises out there. And uh, definitely like search some up. Look for raspberry trellises. 
But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, just get some more 1x2s. So I hope this was very helpful. Again, if you want to see like the blog post, so you can look at the little diagram and like take a screenshot of it all together and save it, then I'm going to have the link down below so you guys can look at it. And yeah, I hope this was helpful because when I was looking how to prune this stuff up, like it was, there was no information on what time of year to do it. Thanks for watching.